Hey everyone, welcome back again. Uh, and today's go uh, and now I will continue with the third method of recording a time coded show. This is the trilogy. Uh, that's not Matrix, and I'm not Christopher Nolan to do like a Batman trilogy, but I decided to do three videos in a row and just talking about the same topic. And um, yeah, so the third method of recording the time code is going to be based on. Um, based on the CSV file that we can generate from uh, programs like a Reaper. So there are a couple of products, uh, there's a two or three programs that we, where you can generate uh, markers and then uh, and then convert them into the CSV and the, and Magic will accept those files and create a queue stack for you for your time coded show. So if you never heard of this method, so basically the whole idea is in following. You're using um, a third party software um, to run a music file, let's say you're on a plane, you are, um, you have a band uh, that you need to program the time coded show for, you have a song and then you're running a song and you basically create a markers for yourself that that will be a trigger point for you inside of the time code. Then those markers will, will become an empty steps in your time code and you will fill it up fill up those steps with the relevant information and you have your time coded show file created much faster so without further ado let me show you how it works cool so i'm i have loaded um a reaper so this is the reaper yeah the reaper software so i'm running evaluation version and uh, well you can download it from the website and it's basically uh, evaluation version is free so you can run it and you can actually practice with this and then i would always recommend to if you're happy with this software buy the official license and uh, support a manufacturer so in my case i'm just using this just to show people how to use it and how to uh, how you can benefit from using that piece of software so, in my case, what I did is, uh, when you run the Reaper, the Reaper runs on a Mac and on a Windows, which is great. Um, so, what you do is then, you drop your MP3 file or, uh, or sound file onto the Reaper. And what you, do, what you need to do next is this. So, um, this on the top of, just above your track. So, when you drop the file, if you right-click here what you're going to see is it shows you basically how it reads how it divides the whole time time timeline for you for this song so what you need to do is you need to select an option hours minutes seconds frames because that is the format that we use inside of the um, inside of the magic queue and most of the other consoles we they like it, it relates to the time uh, lighting and they can run the time code they will see they will use this format hours minutes seconds frame so you choose that so th we've done that and then for example for my uh, for my for my show i will use it not from the beginning so you can put the put put the starting point anywhere you want and then i will make it louder so you can hear it in my mic so when you press uh, pause uh, pr press spacebar it will start playing music I can jump between the points and I can hear them out and you can see it's all playing so basically the idea is if I want to run the time code starting from this point onwards I can run I can press spacebar and the music starts and whenever I'm ready, I press the. Whenever I'm ready, I will press the M letter, M button on your keyboard, and that will create a marker. So let's do it. I press. Um, if I press, let's say the. Um, yeah. So um, actually, no. Let's start from the zero because that will be easier for us. So if we click here, or yeah, if we click here, oh, I can. You know what? I can actually reduce the the length of the song so just to make it easier I'll move it all the way here because we need to start with zero it's the easiest one to do for our time code so I'm gonna press play uh, I'm gonna put it here so when I press spacebar it starts and I press M1 this is gonna be my next step and this is the next step
and so on and so forth. So next time you will run it again and it will trigger uh, and it will come to the certain markers that you left. So as again, I've used the M letter, the, the, the M for mama on the keyboard to make those timestamps. So then what you can do is you can actually go here, right click and say edit marker. So in the marker, you can actually type the name for the as, as like a sort of notes for yourself. So for example, you can say this is the intro. And then the second step is going to uh, say edit marker. I'm going to say uh, verse. For example, as I said, you don't need to. I'm, I'm just I'm just showing you the examples. Say verse. And then uh, kick one, etc. So you can make those things as you wish, and you can move them around. So you can, of course, zoom in, and then when you run it, if you did something, you can actually move stuff around. So it's much, much easier for you to cr to create the steps here. Yeah. So we've created all this. Then after that, you press View, you press Region Marker Manager. After that, you can see all your steps, so nine markers, and they all come with the different steps. You can also come here and actually update them here. So, for example, pre-kick, I don't know, just come here and say type, say, um, I don't know, drums, um, uh, something like drums too, etc, etc. So you can create those things yourself here. And when you're ready, I mean, you can update the timing if you want. So whenever you're ready, you right click here, anywhere on the screen and press export regions marker markers. When you click that, it will bring you the window here that that shows you uh, where would you like to place it. So Ideally, you need to place where the magic you will see them straight away. This is in a folder called Documents Magic U Shows. It's exactly the same place where you keep all your show files. If you want, if you're planning to do a lot of similar type files, you can create your own folder. Let's you can call it say uh, TC or timecode, and you can make the markers. So you can actually say region markers, uh, and uh, we're gonna say tutorial. So when you're ready, you see it says comma separate value or CSV file and you press save. Done. So you've done that. You can close this. You can close that file. So now let's go into our time code, uh, into our magic queue. So here, this is the nice thing. You can actually change the page. So let's say you have an empty, any empty queue stack, uh, any empty playback. You double click. It brings you this window, so it's empty as you can see. Then you go to the view timecode, view TC, and here you press import TC timings, import timecode timings, and it brings you this window. Here you can actually find your file, which is called, this is the one, MTC test regions marker tutorial. You click on this, nothing happened, and then you press make queues, boom. It created for you the whole queue stack, the one that you've created in the in the uh, Reaper, it could create it for you with all the steps with the correct thing. And if you click here, display, uh, sorry, if you press view mode and click one here, info, you will see your comments or notes that you created in the Reaper actually shown here as well. That way you can actually start with a pre-made Q stack for you with all the steps with the correct timing. That means if you'll now run, um, a, say, a fully linked time uh, time code from external source, let's say from Reaper, it will go bang on a time that it receives from from it. So now you've actually saved a lot of time for yourself. All you have to do is now you have to fill up all these steps or use them. Um, so for example, what I would suggest you to do here straight away is let's create a dummy step. As I told you before, uh, say zero step 0 0.5 empty step. You press record 0 0.5 and then you click here. It will create a step 0 0.5. That will be your starting point 0000. 0, 0, 0. Yeah. And after that, whenever you're ready, so if you up and down it, so it will start from zero. So now if you're going to say, yes, yeah, I've created this, but what to do next? So basically, if you already created some 
like uh, at, uh, some uh, elements of your show let's say you've created some strobing effects or something you can actually fill up those things using Q, uh, using either include queue uh, option or record merge or you can use it f uh, with uh, uh, with a queue stack macroses so if you're right uh, if you use the um, if you use the arrows you will be able to find a column called macros and in the other menu uh, in other video I actually shown you how to use this macro so for example if you if you'd like to run when it goes to the stack step number two if you'd like to run this Q stack you will be able to type in the macro commands a Q stack macro commands that will trigger uh, playback number one for example if I will click here and I press uh, T1 that means it's going to be test playback number one on this page so when I run this and it goes to the step number two you'll see it will activate uh, a playback number one here see it works here so and so on and so forth again I would highly recommend you to actually look into the QStack macroses and use them uh, it's a really powerful tool you will be able to recall queues from the QStack win uh, from the uh, Q store from Q stack from the Q stack store different playbacks on your page etc it's and a different macroses so this is really really powerful method when you use it for uh, for bringing your uh, for bringing your um, CSV file from the Reaper and loading into the into the magic queue directly without using any third-party tools like some other uh, system may require you to do again I hope that was useful for you thank you very much again for tuning in and watching all three tutorials it took me a lot of time to create and I hope it will be very useful for you all again thank you very much for watching us thanks subscribe to our channels and hope to see more shows now recorded with a time code and uh, send your feedback and let us know how you feel and how it works for you. Thank you very much and goodbye.